Welcome to the weekly Hawkeye Sports Review. I'm not biased. I hope they're not. Uh, you know Dan, you know Jack. This is John, our basketball man. He, uh, he wasn't here with us last week. Um, unfortunately, Carl, our other hockey guy, who uh, would probably have made me look awful in uh, last week's picks, unfortunately isn't here with us today, but he can't make me look bad in this week's pick, uh, picks either. So, uh, you want to just uh, go to hockey picks first? Yeah, let's pick our hockey picks first. All right, I'll give it to Jack first. Uh, let's see. All right, Canadians and Sabres. Well, I'm going to say the Sabres because I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say the Sabres because of, they dropped seven points on the Bruins, who were really like they were firing on all cylinders, and they um, they have Ryan Miller, and basically that's why I'm picking the Sabres. Well, uh, I think on this one I'm going to have to go with Montreal, and I think the reason is Carey Price is young. I know Miller's young too, but I don't have much of an opinion on this one. Okay, um, I'm going to go uh, Montreal on this one, because... Uh, Price is a really good goalie, and they have a few guys that can uh, score some goals for their team. So I'm going to go Canadians. What about you, Brian? All right, well, considering the Bruins game with Buffalo and their game last night with Montreal, uh, that's one of those games that really could go either way. But I think since it's in Buffalo, I'm going to take Buffalo. Simply because the Canadians are a good team, but they're better this season when they're at home. And the Sabres, I think they're going to feed off the momentum that they're going to have coming off of a 7-4 win against Boston in Boston. So I think that's uh, really going to give them a boost on uh, game day against uh, Montreal. Dan? Um, Islanders versus Rangers, uh, two New York teams, Battle of the Bronx, um, I think that, uh, both teams are really good, don't get me wrong, but I think the Islanders may be a better team, they won me, they won my pick last week, so I'm gonna believe in them again. And, uh, Jack, what's your pick? Well, as Dan said, it's the New York battle, so uh, the Islanders are still a very young team, even though the Rangers the Rangers lost my pick last week. So I think because the Rangers, the Rangers do have the best goaltender in the league, and uh, well, yeah, they, they're a very good team, the Islanders are just, I think, better, and they're younger, so I'm going to go with the Islanders, too. When you think of the Rangers here, you think they got a goaltender. The Islanders obviously don't have as good of a goaltender as Lundqvist, but they also have good defense. So I'm going to go with the Rangers on this one. I uh, I agree with John in terms of the uh, statement he made about the defense. The depth on the Rangers is just it's. It's tremendous. They're a great shot blocking team too, and I think that's gonna uh, give them a lot of help against the team like the Islanders, that's as young as they are. Um, I know I picked the Rangers last week, and they lost unfortunately. Shut out, damn Tortorella. Um, I think they'll uh, bounce back though, and uh, I'm gonna pick the Rangers in this game. The uh, the Caps at the Penguins. I. I think this one's going to be kind of uh, short and sweet. I'm going to take the uh, Penguins because the Caps are just absolutely, they're in such a slump right now, you, you really can't pick them. Dan? Okay, so um, Caps versus Penguins. 
I think that this has the opportunity to be a really one-sided game in favor of the Penguins. But you never know. Capitals, the Capitals might turn out a really good game. But I think I'm going to go with the Penguins and Sidney Crosby on this one. Um, you got Malkin, you got Crosby, you got Flurry, you got Ovechkin on the Capitals, but I think they're going to throw up a bunch of assists in this game, Malkin and Crosby. I'm going to go with the Penguins. And yes, that is Penguins with a Z. All right, I'm going to make you unanimous and just pick the Penguins because Malkin, Flurry, and... Crosby are just too much for the slumping capitals. All right, so let's go Red Wings and Blues now. The Red Wings are obviously one of the original six teams, and they have tremendous talent. I don't know about the Blues this year. They haven't sold me yet, but I know the Red Wings do, are on a roll, so that's why I'm picking them. Okay, so Red Wings, Blues, this is a rivalry that's gets pretty intense sometimes. Um, they've already faced twice this season. The Blues took the first one. The Red Wings took the second one. So it really is a toss-up. But um, I'm going to go Red Wings on this one. Just because the combination of Zetterberg and Datiuk could really turn out a lot of goals. Uh, you could really expect, like, Four or five goals from the combination, uh, they could really do wonders for their team. How about you, Brian? All right. Um, to be honest, neither of these teams has really showed me anything this season. Um, granted, the Blues were probably one of the teams to beat last season, um, scoring over 100 points. Uh, they did get absolutely pummeled at home by the uh, Preds uh, the other night. And I watched that game until it was 5 nothing, and then I kind of gave up on that. Um, with uh, Yaroslav Halak out, um, this puts a lot of pressure on Brian Elliott. And uh, the Red Wings, they're off to a slow start too, but I think that really comes down to a battle of goaltending between uh, Jimmy Howard and uh, Brian Elliott. But they're in uh, St. Louis, and St. Louis is a great home team. They showed us that last season, and I think they have the potential to show it to us this season. So I'm going to go uh, lose on this one. The odd one out so far. I don't like it. Between these two teams, there's been a lot of hate. You got Datsuk, you got Zetterberg, and you got Bacchus on the Blues, obviously. Uh, this is going to come down to who can score more. It's not. I don't think it's going to be a defensive battle, although these two goalies are extremely good. They're two of the better goalies, I'd say, at shot blocking. So I predicted the score last week on this game, although I wasn't on the video. I'm going to predict it again. I'm going to predict five points between Datsuk and Zetterberg on this one, so I'm going Red Wings.